Hello, hello, and welcome to the Rangers News YouTube channel. My name's Cameron Willis, and I'm sitting with Mr. James Black. Hello. Um, today, we're going to discuss the F SFA charges that have been levied against Rangers. Um, the club four charges in total have been brought against the club. Two uh, can concern coaches Tom Culshaw and Michael Beale. The other two concern Rangers themselves for incidents that happened at Easter Road and Celtic Park. Uh, Rangers have kind of bitten back at the statements themselves, um, saying that they are astounded that they've been brought against them. According to reports, that concerns the fact that Alfredo Morelos and Ryan Kent have been mentioned. Um, at the time of recording, uh, Rangers haven't uh, kind of affirmed a promise that they're going to uh, respond with further comment, but we're just going to kind of discuss the charges as a whole and whether or not the kind of the, the Rangers have a case to answer. Right, so as you know, I was I spent a fair bit of my time on Friday phoning back and forward to Hamden with the SFA. Um, originally, actually, it kicked off with the, the th a mystical third yellow card for Alfredo Morelos at Celtic Park. Um, which in itself... Is that, was that the other card that Scott Brown uh, never received? No, no. <laughs> no, this, this was um, a, a, allegedly, according to the SFA, at least he was he was shown it within minutes of the final whistle at Celtic Park. Um, which is fair enough, it's not that uncommon a thing. Players will get called in, a staffer may get called in and it will get done that way. He's not the first, he'll not be the last. The problem, however, comes when the charges were then released later on Friday afternoon. Um, and as you mentioned, the kind of initial reports had stated that Morelos and Kent's celebrations and apparent offensive gestures somehow became part of this. Uh, so I followed that up and incredibly the SFA confirmed that, which leaves me wondering, can I, more, more than anything, are the rules even fit for purpose? I mean, mm -hmm. they've confirmed Morelos was booked. So that's, that's the extent as to the punishment he can get for that gesture. So I don't understand why he's part of any charges. It's, it's double jeopardy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I mean, the, the whole thing absolutely just concerns kind of rubbing pseudocreme on the open souls of the Celtic fans after uh, Pretty much. after what happened three weeks ago. I mean, the campaign's been, been out since, since the, the aftermath of the game. Um, Kent's kind of gun celebration and, <laughs> uh, and Morelos' is kind of... Game over gesture. Has anybody yeah. ever been hurt by a gun that looks like that? Anybody? I mean, Rob, Rob, Roberto Firmino does it every single time. Robbie Keane used to do it. He used to do it whilst he was at Celtic as well. Edison Cavani, Gabby Batistuta, I'm sure Rod Wallace did it at one point. There's a list of players as the, long the, as my arm. The, the SFA have kind of caved in to whatever Celtic pressure is going on in public and behind the scenes for me. Mm -hmm. and I think that this is just, all it is is a kind of token gesture. I mean, if you look at the incidents, I mean, it, that generally happens. If a staff member's been sent off, you generally get charged for the Yeah, yeah, uh, that's, that's so, a matter of course. So, because so, of so Tom, Tom Culsho got sent off against Hibs um, for the Ryan Portis challenge because of the response to the Hibs bench, which was semi-disgraceful, to be honest. I mean, I d obviously it's in real time, so they're defending their player, but I the, the charges for that, I don't think that you can complain with too much. And the same with the Michael Beale sending off at the mm -hmm. end, even though he's defending Morelos, the, 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 the staff kind of get held to a higher kind of yep. standard. But the uh, the, me the mentioning of Manelos, the, the 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 mentioning of Ken, and and all this, and, and and the third yellow card, it's simply because of this massive pressure, and and the SFA need to grow a backbone. I mean, even when, even with things that regard Rangers, and maybe Rangers fans aren't happy with, they need to just literally make the decisions based with their own authority instead of, instead of taking influence from from outspoken pundits, from newspapers, from moon howling supporters. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? And, and and just literally make their own decisions on this. That, that's that's my opinion on it and I think they've they've screwed it up here. Oh, they've screwed up big time. And I mean, on the face of it, when the charges were first released, actually reading through them, I had no issue with it. Because the, the actual charges themselves, there are two under Rule 203, which relate specifically to Tom Culshaw and Mick Beale's red cards. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. And there are the two 204, Rule 204 charges, which is essentially failing to control your players or staff. Mm -hmm. Now, Hibs were also cited for that, for John Potter sending off at Easter mm -hmm. Road. So, I mean, when you, when you look at it, just kind of skimming, without having the, the behind-the-scenes press briefing that Morelos and Kent are involved, if you read those charges, there's nowhere at all that there's any suggestion. 
either players involved. Mm-hmm. So, or, as I say, on the face of it, the charges themselves are I mean, fine. Yeah, because when that came out, a few people were saying that. And Myself I, and included. I, and, I mean, not, not so much agreeing with the charges, a few people were saying that Morelos and Kemp were involved. And I was looking on the SFA website and I couldn't see it anywhere. So, I, I that was why I, I yeah, ended up making the phone call to Hamden to clarify yeah, with them. It was. There I was mean, one or two papers had reported that the players were involved, but there was nothing, nothing at all in the charges which even suggested that. And then at once, I, once I contacted Hamden and they confirmed that, I was incredulous. I, I couldn't believe it. See, the, th- the thing is, as well, Rain- with Rangers' statement, they say that they've kind of been treated differently from other clubs. And I think that's a kind of... It's obviously a kind of prod towards Celtic because if you look at when we were kind of getting scolded by Celtic, the, the, the behaviour of their... Of their Players mm-hmm. in in particular was 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 ridiculous. And Neil, Len- uh, no, it's not, sorry, not Neil, Len- Neil Lennon. Lee Griffiths wiping his snotters on on a ra- on a Rangers badge. Um, the the this is Scott Brown getting, the flags on the post, the scarves on the post. These are insane. Uh, that is incendiary behaviour. Mm-hmm. More so than, than a gun salute, gun salute which nobody cared about at the time. Do you know what I mean? Nobody even kind of noticed at the time. And uh, Morelos walking off saying game over to the fans. They are giving them dogs abuse. Do you know what I mean? And absolutely unacceptable dogs abuse as well. And I mean, th- that, th- I can understand why Rangers are so frustrated. And as a Rangers fan, I'm frustrated as well. Because if they are allowed that kind of free reign, and, and, and we were hurting at the time as well, you know, when, when all that was going on. And we, but we never had this kind of this cry out for all these things. Uh, Scott Brown incident aside, we never had this kind of cry out for all this. We, we kind of acknowledged it and moved on and understood that it was because we were hurting because we could, we could get beat. These Celtic fans think that if they shout loud enough about it, if they get angry about it and they've been doing it for a long enough time, then it suddenly gives them a justification to feel outraged that nothing's been done about it. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and for me, that, that's what's born. I mean, just because you're angry and upset about something doesn't mean you're right. And th- now it's led to these charges and I think Rangers are absolutely right. To be standing up to them. Oh, the, without qu- had the the players not been included, I would have. Had, I, I wouldn't have expected Rangers to have mm. had any issue with the charges, um, and they'd have probably been like, "Yeah, no, it's fair enough." Because as we said, there's no there's no any mechanism to deal with suspensions for coaches after being sent off. So that's kind of the process it goes through. But in terms of this, the, the inclusion of the players in it, mm. does this now mean that any player who's booked and let's let's be absolutely clear on this? A player who makes an offensive gesture, whatever that gesture might be, the, sa- the severest sanction available to the referee is a yellow card. That's it. It's a booking. Mm. So why is it part of the disciplinary charge? Is any player... So let's say yeah. Motherwell... Play, I'm going to Hibs Hamilton on Wednesday night. Mm. Let's say Chris Dodge scores for Hibs and makes a gesture. Gets booked for it. Will Hibs face a disciplinary charge for the well, SFA? The precedent's been set here. I mean, they've made a rod for their own back, mm-hmm. the SFA, with this. Um, and, and it is literally just about appeasing the, the, the kind of the, the upset that's try, coming out of Celtic Park. Try and wrap it on a nice pretty little bow and say, oh, look, we've done something. We've done something about these like offensive gestures. You know what I mean? And I, it's, I mean, it really wasn't incendiary behaviour. I'm, so, I'm sorry, no. it wasn't. It's been so misappropriated and misrepresented uh, over the course of the last three weeks that people, the people, the rivals of Rangers are actually convinced now that it was. And at the time, nobody cared. You know, it's been so blown up. And... They, they they did they did that in response to to the backlash for me and um, I I don't know what's going to come of it next I don't know what Rangers are going to say but um, I can't imagine that they're going to be too happy and I'm the same as you if the charges were simply relating to the fact that the coaches had been sent off then then you can stomach it you can understand it because of course they're held to a higher standard but with the players mentioned they've opened up a can of worms and it can't just be Celtic get their way because they're Celtic you no, know what I mean no absolutely not. And there's, there's just there's something seriously amiss just with the, the time scale involved as well. What What's taken? I mean, the Celtic game itself is three weeks away, for, or just under three weeks, between the final whistle and the charges being issued. I mean, that's mental. But, three, then you've got, you've, but then you've got a week behind that for the Hibs game. I know, four weeks. I four mean, weeks. It's the longest winter break ever for the, the compliance officer or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a... It's, it is, it's three weeks, why not deal with it immediately? Why wait until the football comes back? Why, after the kind of storm is finally beginning to subside? How long does it take to recite Ryan Christie? I, immediately, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, that, that as well, that was a bit of a nonsense because he's injured. And I don't understand why there was such a backlash from Celtic fans in the wake of that because he's injured. And I think it's... Ties it up in a pretty bow. But, um, yeah, 
what what do you think is going to happen next from it? I think we're going to get heavily fined. Uh, I think it's a, a max of twenty grand mm-hmm. per charge for the the two two or four charges. Whilst I expect the two coaches will get touchline bans for it. However, I'd really really expect Rangers to drive a horse and cart through mm. the one for Celtic Park simply because it's involved the two players. The referee saw, and if I, if I might be wrong on this, but when Ryan Kent scored, the referee was within a handful of yards of him. He saw that. Mm. If he didn't see it, he's in the wrong fucking job for a start. Um, mm. But he saw that he'd done the whole Smith and Wesson thing and whatever else. No action taken. Mm-hmm. He dealt with Alfredo Morelos after the game. Um, although, And I think Rangers have questions to answer on that as well, to be fair. If Morelos was booked after the final whistle as the SFA insists, why did Rangers never come out and say yeah. a word about it? I, it would have kind of it would have cleared up a hell of a lot of the kind of media storm. I was thinking that was like, how come we've only found it, found out about this now? Has it been shoved in? But I know apparently. Well, I mean, uh, the questions the questions been asked of Rangers um, with no responses yet. I had emailed Rangers on Friday afternoon. Yeah, Friday afternoon, asking just kind of is the timeline that the SFA has put forward here even remotely close to being correct? Mm. And I've not heard anything. Um, but I'd absolutely expect Rangers to, to win that one charge at least just because it's a farce. It is mm. absolutely farcical. There's certainly more to come from that one.